The work actually started in earnest in 2012 when we took um, some leaders from the buffer communities to Guatemala to share an experience that the Guatemalan Mayans were experiencing regarding their lands. And when they came back, they said, you know, perhaps we can do something similar in Belize. This is after acknowledgement of the 2007 landmark judgment in which nothing had been done. And the community wanted to protect its territory. They wanted to demarcate it, to identify it. And so they felt that this was something that would benefit them. And from there on, we continued um, the discussion in finding the resources and making sure the community was ready for that big commitment. Because, like I keep saying, this has to be what the community wants. And it has to be um, through a process that everybody accepts and understands. Um, otherwise, you end up with a project that doesn't have any long-standing basis. So clearly for us, it was important that everybody understood what the requirements was, like what we would give, what they would give, and how we would work together. And so from there on, we started, and like I said, it took two years from the first meeting with the neighbors to where we are today. Um, they initially said, oh, it's gonna be very easy to identify our boundaries. We already know more or less where it is. But actually, when time came to sign those boundary agreements, a lot of people got cold feet and said, well, I'm not really sure I want to do that. And so it took a lot of negotiation and, and more um, socialization of what this process is.